Fanny Kayode attacks Seraki for leading team to persuade Jonathan not to leave PDP. You know, Fanny, Fanny, Fanny Kayode, I'm, I'm getting his name, Fanny Femi Kayode, FFK, yeah? FFK, Femi Fanny Kayode. Uh, is attacking Saraki. Saraki is a PDP man, the former Senate president, just before we have Ahmed Lawa. Okay. Femi Fani Kayode recently left PDP for APC, whom Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi State said he has seen the light and um, he has left the part of criticism to join this, fellow, this ship now. Well, it, that came up with no small criticism from Nigerians to Femi Fani Kayode saying, uh uh, even you. Anyway, uh jonathan there's been this rumor ongoing that good luck jonathan is about to join apc and uh, we always say it that every indigenous fire we're talking about organic fire okay not the one you see at parties weddings and the rest there is no uh, smoke without fire that's organic fire uh, and that's what we're talking about recently Femi Fanny Kayode is attacking, uh, you know, Saraki, saying, why are you persuading uh, good luck Jonathan not to join APC? Anyway, guys, let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Why Femi Fanny Kayode is now on the side of the ones Buhari he wants criticized. Hmm. Nigerians, they say, eh? the only thing constant in life is change. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Breaking news. Former aviation minister Femi Fani Kayode is angry that former governor of Kwara State and former Senate president, Dr. Bukola Saraki, led a team to persuade former good luck Jonathan not to leave the People Democratic Party. People Democratic Party leader led by Sereki were in Jonathan's house two days ago with the sole agenda of persuading him not to leave People Democratic Party after several rumors had it that he might dump the party for APC to seek presidential ambition. Sereki is leading the PDP Reconciliation and Strategy Committee to diagnose, to dialogue with the to dialogue with good luck Jonathan not to leave PDP. Members in the bid in a bid to strengthen the party ahead of 2023 presidential election. But Femi Fani Kayode said it was Saraki who led a, re re a rebellion against Jonathan in 2014 and persuaded PDP governors to deflect to the APC. He said Saraki action and the deflection deflected governors caused Jonathan to lose 2015 presidential election. Fanny Kayode thought he did not mention Saraki's name, described it as ironic, the new move of the former Senate president after he beat Jonathan in 2015. He secretly beat him behind the bot, let led governors to leave PDP for APC. Now he's coming back on the other side. What kind of a man are you? Interestingly to note that the man that led the team to GEJ's house, that is good luck, Ebele Jonathan's house, to appeal to him not to leave the PDP yesterday is the same man that led rebellion against him and the deflection of governors from the same party in 2015 that cost him the 2015 presidential election. What an irony, he tweeted. Saraki has been making several moves to bringing PDP members together to strengthen the bond ahead of 2023 presidency. After meeting with Jonathan with the team, he had also met with the former governors elected under the People Democratic Party not to deflect and to come together to strengthen the party ahead of 2023. At Today's meeting with the former governors that had been elected under the platform, he promised the members that PDP will work together, strategize, and give more to ensure that they move forward as a party. More active, more active in making sure that the party stay ahead Be with relation to 2023 presidential election. So this is what is currently going on. And... Um, um, you know, our brother has fired up. He's now a member of the other 
him. And now he's, you know, he's speaking up for the team saying, I'm surprised. You were the one who led this team and told them then that indeed, uh, you know, uh, Jonathan does not deserve to be the, go the president anymore, which made him lose the election because the governors then that should have stood with him, uh, you're the ones who left. Now you are leading another team. I mean, what kind of a confused person are you? You are not stable. You know, it shows the kind of heart, you know, the kind of people that we have. Today, one day yours, tomorrow you're the other side. My dear, don't be moved by all this statement, by all this saying that is going on. At the end of the day, have you heard of the word called politics? In Nigeria, they call it a dirty game. They are politicians. And politicians know how they meet. Look at the person talking. Femi Fani Kayode, ah, is it not the same person, the serious number one critic of Muhammad Buhari? Have we forgotten? Ah, please don't let your memory be that short. Oh. He's the number one person who will call out Buhari at every single opportunity and let him know that he has failed. He's the number one person that will tell Nigerians who Buhari truly is. He will tell Nigerians without fear or favor that it's about time. The game is over. These people are the same people. Okay, this was the number one person who would tell Nigerians who Buhari truly is, the number one person. In fact, he will explain to Nigerians what is happening, what has happened, what is going to happen, the moves. Don't forget, he's a founding member of APC. And he told Nigerians in a video, I mean, it was not under duress or being pushed or uh, coerced or whatever the case may be. He told Nigerians why he left APC, a founding member. It was because at that time, Ahmed, uh, Ahmed uh, Tinubu, was seeking to be the vice president to uh, Muhammad Buhari, and he rose up against it, said it has never been before. A Muslim Muslim ticket in Nigeria. Don't forget that we have two major big religions that dominate the Nigerian. Um, the Nigerian society, we have. If you are not a Christian, you are a Muslim, and uh, we have a, a percent as a percentage as well that are traditionalists. But largely, we have the Christians and the Muslim, and he said that would bring about chaos in Nigeria, as it will be attributed that anything that's being done is because there is it is a Muslim Muslim thing. I might lead to civil war, and when they were trying not to accept this, was why he left the party. So, and a few days ago, we saw Governor Yahaya Bellu of Kogi State saying that he has seen the light. He has seen the light. And so, I mean, politicians at the end of the day, don't feel for Sereki, don't feel for Femi Fanika, and don't feel for good luck, Ebele Jonathan. You know, many Nigerians have said, good luck, Ebele Jonathan, days was good. Oh, no problem. I have no problem with that. Indeed, we did not have what we had now. It was better. What are we talking about? How did it develop the economy? Right under his nose, did you see what the Minister of uh, Petroleum did? That is the one you know about. Others were properly concealed. So to mention but a few, this nation is being drained by incompetency. Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.